This plant may be in your backyard and it's entirely edible. Some sources, such as the USDA, claim that this is an introduced species, but it's actually not really known where its native range is, and it probably is native to Texas. It's not introduced or invasive, but three-lobed false mallow does like disturbed areas such as yards and roadsides, just like invasive and introduced species do. This is Malfastrum coromindelianum, or three-lobed false mallow malva loca. Central Texas is about the northernmost part of its range, but it goes all the way down to South America. Normally, it's only about this tall. But this is actually the tallest individual I've ever seen of this plant. 1.5 meters is its maximum height. It makes a pretty good ground cover alternative to grass. To treat ringworm, the Mexican kickapoo crushed up the leaves, added salt or alcohol, and applied that to the spot to cure it. And the leaves have a pretty mild taste. Don't taste like much, uh, slightly mucilaginous texture if you eat a bunch of them. You can also eat the flowers and the stems are going to be too woody, but perhaps an extract could be made out of the roots. But there are many species in the mallow family with edible foliage or just edible parts in general, and they all kind of have a similar taste, which is mild and pretty good. Someone had to fill the role before all these introduced plants, and three-lobed false mallow was probably living on the clearings of Texas Paleo Indians a thousand years ago, and may have even made it into the pot sometimes. Anyway, just another cool plant for y'all.